Mr. Secretary, I wanted to come back for just a moment to the U.S. government shutdown. While here in Davos, I interviewed Alex Karp. He's the CEO of Palantir, a major government contractor in the United States working on behalf uh, of the Pentagon and the Defense Department. Uh, he said that the government shutdown, he believed, was terribly damaging to the brand of our country. Do you believe that? I, I, I think that's a great deal of hyperbole. Uh, we've had shutdowns before, albeit for not such a long period as we've been thus far. Put it in perspective. You're talking about 800,000 workers, and while I feel sorry for the individuals that have hardship cases, 800,000 workers, if they never got their pay, which is not the case, they will eventually get it, but if they never got it, you're talking about a third of a percent on our GDP. So it's not like it's a gigantic number overall. Mr. They, Secretary, but there, Mr. Secretary, there are reports that there are some federal workers who are going to homeless shelters to get food. Well, I know they are, and I don't really quite understand why, because, as I mentioned before, the, the obligations that they would undertake, say a borrowing from a bank or a credit union, are in effect federally guaranteed. So the 30 days of pay that some people will be out there's no real reason why they shouldn't be able to get a loan against it. I don't understand why people are going to food banks. Can't regular people just eat twigs and drink puddle water? Forage for the kind of berries that don't kill you? Isn't cardboard edible? This is Wilbur Ross, Trump's Commerce Secretary, who, as of 2016, was worth $2.9 billion, with a B, claiming that he doesn't understand why federal employees who are on the verge of missing their second paycheck are being forced to seek out food banks for meals. As it is, 40% of Americans can't cover an unexpected $400 expense, according to the Federal Reserve Board. And that's without the extenuating circumstance of the President of the United States holding them hostage so he can make Ann Coulter happy and get his wall. So there really is not a good excuse why there really should be a liquidity crisis. Now, true, the people might have to pay a little bit of interest, but the idea that it's paycheck or zero is not a really valid idea. There's no reason why some institution wouldn't be willing to lend. See? Just get a loan. Sure, you'll have to pay interest on that loan that you took out to pay off the missed mortgage payment that you're going to pay higher interest on too, but don't worry, everyone knows that the banks will take you in their loving embrace and help you get back on your feet before they take ownership of your firstborn. Even Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, who I have to say aren't poor by any stretch of the imagination, were pretty baffled at how out of touch Wilbur Ross truly is. When he was asked about people going to food lines and pantries and the rest, he says I, he, he doesn't understand why they have to do that. I don't know, is this the let them eat cake kind of attitude or call your father for money or uh, this is character building for you. It's all going to end up very well just as long as you don't get your paychecks. I don't under, quite understand why as hundreds of thousands of men and women are about to miss a second paycheck tomorrow. His quote exactly is, I know they are, and I don't really quite understand why. He was arguing that it's easy for furloughed workers to get a loan. Those comments are appalling and reveal the administration's callous indifference towards the federal workers it is treating as pawns. Secretary Ross's comments are the 21st century equivalent of let them eat cake. Many of these federal employees live paycheck to paycheck. Secretary Ross, they just can't call their stockbroker and ask them to sell some of their shares. They need that paycheck. To be clear, this is our populist administration suggesting that you go further into debt while the coastal elites fight to make sure that our federal employees can feed their families from week to week. Who could have seen that coming?